The first right now at five, a Las Vegas man in custody tonight, accused of being part of the deadly riots at the U.S. Capitol. Well, thanks for joining us live on TV and KTNV.com or wherever you're streaming us right now. I'm Todd Quinones. Trisha has the night off. Well, the FBI says that agents identified the man from surveillance video taken inside the Capitol building. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen right now is live from the federal courthouse with a closer look at not exactly what led up to the arrest here, Jeremy. Yeah, Todd, rioters continue to be arrested all across the country with the FBI saying more than 130 people are facing charges. Now, 31 year old Nathaniel DeGrave of Las Vegas was arrested yesterday. The FBI is saying he breached the Capitol and organized with two other men to head to D.C. A surveillance image capturing a moment during the Capitol riots. The FBI saying the man wearing a helmet and showing his fists is believed to be 31-year-old Nathaniel DeGrave of Las Vegas. Federal agents arrested him and 31-year-old Ronald Sandlin outside of DeGrave's apartment Thursday for breaching the Capitol. They identified him through surveillance cameras and social media posts. Federal agents say he was involved in a shoving match with Capitol police officers and had his fists out as if he was ready to box. A federal complaint shows Sandlin organized with DeGrave and another man named Josiah Colt with Facebook posts showing the three raising money for a trip to D.C. to stand behind President Trump. DeGrave comments on a post saying it's time the American people rise and stand up for this country. We're tired of the corruption. A social media video shows who federal agents believe to be DeGrave holding his phone showing a stack of bricks, saying in part, we are out here protecting the country if expletive goes down, if Pence does what we think he is going to do. UNLV sociology professor Robert Futrell says he's not surprised to see people motivated to take action as a fear of losing power. And certainly under the last administration, they felt like they had a lot and maybe they have some change now that they're going to have to contend with. Futrell says he expects more arrests to come across the country as federal authorities continue their investigation. The arrests are a positive sign that the federal government is taking this seriously. Now, DeGrave and Sandlin are both being held at the Henderson Detention Center. As far as the third man, Josiah Colt, he was arrested in Idaho, but was released out of custody before his court hearing. Coming up at six, we'll hear more from that UNLV professor about what may drive or motivate people to take what many see as drastic actions. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.